Okay, so we've got our hard-coded workflow that we created in the previous video. Let's now kind of level up this workflow. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna kind of tell our trigger about some values that we're gonna pass actually into this particular workflow. And then once we've kind of set that up at the trigger level, we can then reference those values elsewhere. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up the first number and the second number. We're gonna provide the ability to pass those values into this particular workflow. And of course, we'll then move on and we'll start then referencing those with inside the nodes just below. So the way that we do that is it's all on the trigger node. Now the REST API call up here has these three dots. We can click edit and we can now move into this particular screen where we can now start setting all of this stuff up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select body. Now if you are familiar with API requests, you may know that on a post request, you can actually pass in some values in the, the kind of the body of the actual request itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a couple of values here. I'm just going to hit the plus and I'm going to select the first one and I'm just going to give this a key name of number one like that. And it's the number one which I'm going to reference elsewhere with inside this particular workflow just going to choose number one there as well. And I'm going to change the type. The type is just going to be a number like that. And I'm going to add in an additional one. Just select that one here. Just choose then number two like that. Let's give this a name of number two as well. In fact, I'm just going to kind of lowercase that. There it goes, num number two. And we're going to choose the type there. And I'm going to say it's a number. So that is what I've defined with inside this particular request. Now, because I've selected kind of a number one here, and number two as, as a type of number, then my workflows will then be able to take receipt of that value and it will treat it as a number. So what I'm now going to do is I'm just going to hit the save up here. I'm going to keep it really simple. So that is now set up. We now need to change the method and we need to change this now to a post because we're going to pass in the values in the body. And once I've done that, I can then start referencing those particular values from inside the first number and the second number. So I'm now going to remove the hard coded value here. So I'm just going to click on the pen here. I'm just going to delete that out here. I'm going to go to variables now. And this is where I now have access to the request. So the request here is just the kind of the, the request node that we have at the top here for this particular trigger. And you can see now that the body is, is activated here with this little forward sort of carrot here. And of course, I can just pick up now number one. So that's all I need to do. And I'm just going to do the same thing here for the second number. So just go here, edit, uh, delete out that variable here and or value, and then go to the request. And I'm going to go to then the body and I'm going to pick up number two, just like that really quite straightforward. So this is still going to be an add an addition operation that we're going to kind of have here, but we're going to come back and talk a little bit more about that soon. But what I can now do is I can just go up to the test now and I'm going to go to now the body here. Now this is where I would need to kind of set up the test data. So I now need to set up a, a typical request that you would have in on an API uh, where you would shape up the body. So we're going to set up the number one and the number two here. So I'm just going to put some curly braces here like that. And now with a uh, double quotes, I'm just going to type in here number one like that, a little, little uh, colon there, and then I'm just going to put two in here, and then a comma. And then I'm just going to do another one here, so just say number two like that, a little colon here, and uh, just put number two there. Now, it kind of puts a little tab in there, I can just move that back like that. Let's just make that a little bit more cleaner. So we've now set up the test data. Now, if I can now just choose the test workflow, what we should expect to see now is that workflow should be executed, and I should see the result of four. Okay, so there is the result of four. Now, just to prove that this is working, so I'm gonna do six there, six plus two, and we know this should equal eight. And there it is. So we have our, our kind of calculator kind of working with the dynamic values coming in. Let's now move on to the next section where we're gonna talk a little bit about the operation where we can now start dynamically making a change to this now. And of course we want to be able to, our calculator, we want to be able to support the passing in of the, the operation and we'll pick up those values in, in the next little segment. Okay, so let's extend this particular workflow then to handle the operation. So just like we did before, click on the three dots up here, click edit, and let's add in a brand new parameter that's gonna be here. So hit the plus, let's give this one a name. So I'm just gonna call this one operation like that. 
and I'm just going to give the label the same as operation. Again, the labels can be different to the key. The key is the most important part here, by the way, because that's what you're going to be referencing through your workflows. But the label uh, might be useful there just purely for uh, cosmetic reasons more than anything. So of course, this is going to be a string. That's fine. So just hit the save this just up here. Now that's going to be now available to us. So this is the bit that we now need to make a change to. So if I press the edit on the, the actual pen there, you can see we've already got a text value there. So I'm just going to delete that out of here. I'm just going to change this now to JavaScript because I'm now going to reference a variable. Now that's really important that you can do freeform text in these particular kind of uh, panels and you can uh, make sure you've got tests selected. But of course, this is JavaScript because I need to evaluate a variable, a value that I've got coming in. So that's really, really important. So just choose on the variables here, go to back to the request, go to then the body and then go to the operation. And we've now correctly got that variable all nicely set up in there. So just press away like that. So that now expects me to be passing in add, subtract, etc. And how do I know that? Well, what I could have done is I could have um, originally, I could have just clicked on the pen and I could have uh, seen that you had add there. Originally I deleted that out. I would have also had subtract. But if you look at the code here. Um, again, I don't really want this to become a teaching you how to code video, but you can see here that we've got some values, add, a subtract, multiply, and divide. So all I need to do is pass these in as my operations. And then of course, I'll get, I'll get the correct kind of uh, calculation that is done. So just hit save there, not worried about that. We can quickly test this out now. So let's move back over to the test, go to the body. Here are my values from before. So I'm just gonna do comma there. Just gonna go back here and I'm just gonna do operation like that. And I'm just gonna simply start off with a string. So two double quotes, and I'm gonna pass my uh, string there as add, so just test the workflow. And I expect to see eight at this particular time. We'll, we'll change it to subtract and we'll hopefully then see then four. So let's just give this a whirl, hopefully. There we go, so we've got a value of eight. And then here, I just need to simply change this then to subtract, uh, subtract, and then hit test workflow. <laughs> there we go, spelled it wrong. Uh, subtract like that. And there we go, I've got four, so there we go. So it did correctly show me the error there, that was great. But um, you can see here, that's all playing out now. So I can now, I've kind of got this almost, uh, not bulletproof, but I've got a, a, I've got a kind of like a, a workflow that's running as a calculator now. So I can pass all those values in. Um, and that's pretty well much the workflow created uh, for this particular small segment.